Okay, so here we go. I'm finally starting my playthrough of The Walking Dead Season 2. It's been out for a while, I know, but I had been waiting for it to go on sale and finally went on sale again on Steam today. So, well, not today, but this weekend. So here I go. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! Lee, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Lee, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet bee. You can leave me. It's okay. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. But don't meet it, Krista. That last scene was Lee was still so badass. I'm gonna miss him as a character. Definitely. What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. 
Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Pause on here for a moment. Hello? I got people messaging me. See, already it's breaking one of the rules. You never, ever go in bathrooms. Oh, gross. safe to get cleaned up. Please have water. Figures. Yeah, running water, I don't think so. Not after all that time. <laughs> That's not foreboding at all. No, not at all.
I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. Leave me alone. Don't think I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No! Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. I killed someone for it. You? Kill? <laughs> Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Yep, saw that coming. Like I said, foreboding. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Dumbass bitch. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Krista, talk to me. <sighs> Sixteen months later, wonder this where the baby worked. is. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. More smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise...
can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. It'll be better there, right? Safer, maybe. So they say. But I don't know. So they it say. Has to be. Isn't that we the thing with Walking Dead? It's we'll always see. better we just somewhere need else. To keep moving north. Yeah, that never happens. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. This might burn. This will never cook. And this won't burn.
make a fool of him. Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. <gasps> Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. <laughs> what the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Get the fuck over here! Now! Fucker. Come out here, girl. I'm not fucking around. Look, girl. Oh, shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! That was pretty damn fast paced. I don't remember anything quite like that except for maybe like the Lee walkthrough in the last game. <laughs> Krista, 
Are you there? Wondering why it said dead walker. Yep, that's a pretty safe sign. It's a dead walker. <laughs> Get it? Sign? No. Ah, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I'd say those uh, warning signs need a little updating. Beware of flesh-eating zombies. Yeah. It's okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. <coughs> What's he doing? Sam, where are you going? Wait up!
Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. We go. Oh, my God. Thank you. Look, Sam, I can. Now I just need hmm, something to open it with. Yeah, that's kind of helpful. It's got a can, no way to get into it. Nee. Nothing left here. Barbecue with a giant hole in it. Not helpful at all. Looks like they were a happy family once. Nothing edible. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> Flying disc? Why didn't okay, they call it a bring it back. I don't. That doesn't make much sense. Good boy, Sam. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. What's the matter, Sam? Shh, we have to be quiet. Oh, God, no food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh. I hate scavengers. They take everything. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Hey, it's 
It's okay, boy. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Stand back, okay? Quite yet. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> See, we just him. have to stay uh, out uh, of their uh, reach. Yeah, bad joke. Sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Please don't be bad. Thank God. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all. Put it out some misery. I mean, it's just hungry, but damn dog. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. even gonna share the food. Ow. It's a fucking nasty cut. Or nasty bite as it were.
Clementine. Off with his head. I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think, I think we're safe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> hey, you all right? Doesn't the giant dog bite him, arm? I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, that doesn't make him seem guilty of anything. This is at all. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, not at all. We're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some. Oh shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's, she's been bit, man. Fuck. 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 What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? 
Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Serious. I, I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't, you don't kill dogs. Yeah, when it bites you and then it gets ran out, run through on spikes and Clementine. You're basically killing it out of mercy. Yeah, you do. Yes. You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. Hmm. Well, all right, Clementine. That. Good enough for well, me. What else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at. <laughs> Alright, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. Blood loss, that's all. You know, giant bite on the arm. Just came out of the river not long after that. So, yeah. Or four. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside.
I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. We've got to be sure. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... Right now, I'm, I'm kind of bleeding. That's the best we're gonna get. Bunch of bastards. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. <laughs> this is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. You know those little you'll remember this they'll remember this things and show up? I'll remember this when it comes time to remember if I'm gonna save your asses. Let every one of your sorry asses die. Why are we doing this? Not that I'm bitter or anything. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches.
That's a pretty flimsy table. Clementine's small, but I foresee falling happening. Yep, saw that coming. Make sure I <laughs> they have a doctor. He's got to have stuff for stitches. I think it's getting worse. Guess it would be too much to hope. Guess it'd be too much to ask for to be able to pull it back in front of behind me to make it look like make it an apparent that they went through there, but okay. House meeting in five minutes. 
That's... that's good. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Duck. Duck goose? Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type of left him nothing you can do about it now. If I were medical supplies, where would I be? Clean. I'll still need some bandages. 
and something to keep it from getting infected. need to have this baby. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like Duh. books. It's called A book. The Gurgles. Really? It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. No, it feels good. Stupid. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. Let's make let's we're use friends. the trusting right? we naive little friends. girl. I haven't that been helped. That'll work. Since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends. Whatever it takes to get the girl to get the piece of cleaning supplies. Forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding.
no reason to take the watch. Down the creaky stairs. They are really bad at this. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Crystal showed me. Damn.
It's hammer time, bitch. <laughs> Still not bitten. <laughs> nice. Holy shit. What the How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look at sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. So in other words, you've been babying her, and she, she needs to grow up you know, sometime. You yeah, do not she needs to grow up. She needs. Rebecca was she worried gonna you might be working with someone Probably. else. Probably. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Yeah, fuck you too. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Aggro? What are you been playing an MMO? Every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's. We 
thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Still don't forgive you for shooting at me and put me in a damn cabin, but understand. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume dead, what dead, happened dead, to them dead, 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 dead. happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, walking dead. Ha, I'm sorry ha, to hear that. Ha. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What? Happened to him. The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. Yep, bitch. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? <laughs> Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Don't be a bitch. Be a bitch right back. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her... She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. I 
How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. I'll be right back. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and... Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because <laughs> you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role.
even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I see dead people. Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What's this doing here? This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
what happened to you. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Son of a bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo. Listen to me, damn it! I see a way out! I'll cover you! he'd already been scratched anyway so he was dead already what are we gonna do someone's outside someone came here looking for you a man what did he say what his name was we know damn well who it was who is he one of the guys we were with before What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four or five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Dun dun dun. your every breath the life is for the living in the water oh. that was definitely a hell of a start you feel that um you should probably gonna stop here for the time being um, learn something really quickly with the first uh, season of the Walking Dead game you don't play more than one episode at a time because that stuff will stick with you and this one's dark as hell like even darker than the last one so I'm gonna break here I'll, I'll play it again soon your 